that there's actually three ways of interacting with your quick settings. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can manipulate or customize your status bar and quick settings on your Samsung Galaxy S9 and your S9 Plus. So in front of me here is two Samsung Galaxy S9 Pluses, but you can see how both of these completely differ when you actually pull down the status bar. Now, when you pull down the status bar, there's two different ways you can do that. The first one is just by pulling it down with one finger, but you pull it down twice to show you all the different quick settings. Or the other way you can do that is by using two fingers and pulling it down pretty quick at the exact same time, releasing those quick settings instantly. Now, the reason why I have two different phones in front of me here is because this one right here is the unlocked global version. This one is a carrier version from Sprint just to kind of show you guys a little bit of some of these quick settings features, how they are just a little bit different. And honestly, everything is gonna be pretty much the exact same way how it's gonna function on your phone. It just happens to be that if you have a different carrier or if you're in a different country, then a couple of these icons on the very top will differ. So if you go through this video, cause here in a second, I'm gonna show you how you can retrieve more of these quick settings. If you're not able to do it, or if you're missing one of these icons, it just happens to be the way that your carrier is or the way it is over in your country with the exact phone that you have. So one of these fast little changes that you will notice and see is that this one right here is a carrier version from Sprint. If you touch on those three little dots on the top right hand side, it means more options. You can see how there's only two options here, which is button order and button grid. But this one over here that is the global version has one more little option that is called contact us. And so that is why I wanted to show both of these phones here extremely quick to show you that there is slight and small differences between global and carrier phones. So getting to the topic at hand, I do wanna show you one of the first things that you might notice when you pull down the status bar one time is noticing that you're able to change the brightness of your screen with this little control line right here. Now, a lot of times, yeah, you might have your auto brightness turned on, but maybe you're in a situation where you want it to go down just a little bit, then you will be able to manually do that. If you want this to either show or not show, you have this option right here for the show control on top. Now, for example, this thing is turned off, so now when I pull it down, I'm not able to change my brightness instantly or right away or you know, ease of use. So now when you do turn this thing on, it is gonna show right away. You can also turn off the auto brightness if you want to. This change with the conditions of how bright you are within either room that you're at or if you walk outside. This one definitely does come in handy though, because if I was to walk outside and it's extremely bright, it'll automatically turn my brightness up for me, probably all the way up to here so I'd be able to see it. Now, if you do want to change it back down manually, you are able to do that and then you just hit on done. And so now this way you are able to see your little control on the very top. Now the next topic is when you have this thing pulled down twice or if you do it one time with two fingers, you know, these things are referred to as quick settings. And if you're not able to get to it quick, then you're really taking away from the purpose of the name. So if you have to scroll through all these different screens just to find the setting that you want, you know, this really does not help you at all. So on the very top right hand side, click those three little dots and click on that button grid. Now you can go with the original, you know, three by three, some people do go by the four by three, but I like the five by three because in this way, I'm able to see more of my settings within one little swipe down and I'm able to change it quick, which again, hence the name quick settings. So you don't have to go all the way back into this full settings right here, but when you pull it all the way down twice or once with two fingers, you're able to get into everything extremely fast. So once you're done with playing with that button grid, when you did put it probably more than likely to this five by three, now it's like, okay, now what of these settings do I actually use on a daily or weekly basis? Any of them that is on a monthly or yearly basis will go to the second page because I don't need to go over that second page as often. This is where you'd be able to go to the very top right hand side and you'd be able to choose on that button order. So then this way, if there's actually some of these that you don't need to have at all, which this one down here is the Bixby voice wake up, then I actually have it on the very bottom. Now, if there's any of these up over here that you don't really need to use, maybe NFC, you can actually take it off. And then this way you'd be able to manipulate and change and customize everything on the very top over here. So with this mobile data, I'm actually just gonna move my mobile data down here because I'm gonna move it over later on. Uh, phone visibility, I'm gonna move that down here as well. Um, the always on display is something that once it's already on, it's definitely on. So I'm gonna put it down here as well. Now over here, this is where you'd be able to add things in. But the moment you take away from this front page over here, whatever's up next, will move over to that next page. So phone visibility um, definitely will work with the second page. My mobile data is gonna work because once it's on, it's on. NFC, I'm gonna keep down here. The voice wake up of Bixby, I'm gonna keep down there. Everything else up here is actually good to go for me because everything that is on this first little page is actually perfect. Now again, if you want to change anything that's on the very top, so let's say you hit on done. 
Now, when you look at this area here, which is when you pull it down one time, if there's any of these that you would also like to change, that is still going to be with this button order. So performance mode is probably something that you don't need to have all the time. You could put it down here and maybe you would like to have your power saving towards the top. So when you play with your Bluetooth settings, your sound and vibrate, the Wi-Fi, the power settings, all of these are super important. Um, or if you fly a lot, you'd be able to move this one maybe just a little bit higher. So blue light filter, I'm gonna bring it down here because it's not as important. And now once you've hit on done, now all your very main important applications or settings, I should say, is now gonna be on the very top. So now when you pull this thing down, you're gonna see on the very top, you're gonna have your quick settings there instantly of the ones that you use most of the time. Now just remember you go through here, manipulate and change and customize everything. Just go over into your button order so you can see exactly what you're using, what you're not using. Put the ones you don't use as much on the very second page, then you'll be able to hit on done. So now there is one more important thing I do wanna show you and that's actually interacting with these quick settings. So first off, when you pull it down the one time, this is where you'd be able to turn it on or turn it off. That's basically a toggle. But for any of these, such as the Wi-Fi, if you press and hold, it'll get you into the full settings mode. Now, if you pull this thing down with your two fingers or you pull it down with your one finger twice, now you have an additional way of playing or interacting with these quick settings. Again, same thing. If you were to touch on the icon, it's just toggling it on or off. Now, if you touch on the word, that gives you the quick settings. It's not the full detailed outlook of that full entire application. It's just a fast little way of you changing your brightness. So right now I have my flashlight on, I have it at level five, but maybe I need to go into a room where someone is sleeping and I need it to be level one or level two. So now you're not gonna wake them up you know, with that little possibility of it being so bright. Now again, here's a quick setting of Wi-Fi. You can see how this is different than if I was to go inside of there and press and hold. So that was something I wanted to make sure you guys knew. It's pretty important. Not everybody knows that there's actually three ways of interacting with your quick settings, either by touching the word, touching the icon, or pressing and holding on the icon. So I hope that you guys have appreciated this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up if there's something in here that you have learned. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can hit subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side, or you can hit subscribe right below the video. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. You know, get these videos out there to the whole world who, if they do have a Samsung Galaxy device, hopefully they're coming to this channel to get everything they need to know about their phone. Outside of that, I'll see you guys later.